What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back. Like I never left this mother. Yeah, Sersky. All right. I know my yes, Sersky. My yes, Sersky is weak today. That's because I'm weak. I'm sick. My energy levels is down. I got me some orange juice in my cup, trying to put some vitamin C in my body. Um, But yeah, but we still here. Fourth video for the day. Consistent Lex in the building. Relentless Lex in the building. Sick and all, man. Sick and everything. You feel me? All right, man. So we got Gabriel Union exposing Hollywood's being their producers. Abuse. <laughs> With Tyler Perry, Oprah, and Weinstein. So we're going to jump straight into this reaction, man, and get to it. This is video number four for the day. You dig? Spicy. Hey, that my characters can break down. It doesn't mean I am breaking down. But I couldn't figure out how to separate it because generally speaking, I was being hired to be slivers of myself. Can you take a guess who hired her? Here's a hint. He's one of the few people that has a studio with his name right outside. What's more, Gabrielle Union was only where it began with him. I had no idea that Tyler Perry's studio schedule was so drastic. If you're working on a regular network show, they take a whole week to film an episode. Tyler Perry Studios, they film an episode in one day. For others, it was much worse than just having insane schedules. Bullied, intimidated for years. And I'm going to be painted as the villain because y'all have deal with this person. Over the years, we've been told by figures within the entertainment that what people see from afar is a contrast to what actually goes on within the industry. There have been a handful of these cases playing out over time, but nothing that's ever involved some veteran actors, actors like Gabriel Union. Well, that table just flipped over, as Union now seems to be the one spearheading the claims about Hollywood being more of a nightmare than previous reports have claimed. It's not just that there are people who control virtually everything, right from the casting to the release dates, to suit their their very specific timelines, but there have also been stories about payment disparities within shows where characters are given checks that are miles from each other for similar roles. It seems Union, along with several other veterans she knows, have been dealing with these almost unbelievable conditions time and time again, but these people are finally putting their foot on the ground. However, even though taking a stand has helped push their cause in the right direction, it's also led to other more sinister revelations about the powers that be in the industry. The thing with most veterans in the industry is that while their problems are mostly tied to their money, other less established actors have a whole different ballgame to deal with. Well, in the spirit of opening the lid of wrongdoings by the big names in the industry, it was revealed that some of these directors actually take advantage of the people who work under them. This has been highlighted by forces like the Hash Me Too movement, which made it a point to expose people that had been taking advantage of women in the industry for decades. But today's expose takes a different direction, as the male executives in this case are alleged to have been taking advantage of other male subordinates on the set. It gets a tad darker when you find out that these people, after being imposed to do unthinkable things just to land opportunities on a set, were allegedly made to sign legal documents preventing them from even alluding to it for the rest of their lives. However, one thing a good lawyer is always capable of, even in the movies, is to find loops that break the protective veil of the rich and powerful. The lawyer here is figurative, as Gabrielle Union seems to have taken it upon herself to expose these people on behalf of the maybe even tens of people who have had to live through some of the worst conditions just to get a chance on a movie set. Now, I've not mentioned any names since the beginning of this, but how many billionaires in the film business do you really think are close enough to Gabrielle Union that she'd have seen move a certain way? I'll give you a hint. He's already been repeatedly caught up in different scandals. Some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just Hollywood has created a lot of billionaires, Whoa. ranging from actors who landed roles in some of the all-time biggest shows to directors who also served in their own capacity on sets with the same standard. But how about someone who is both a director and an actor in one of the biggest movie franchises of all time? 
Yeah, this is who Tyler Perry has established himself as in the industry today. The man has won virtually every industry award of excellence out there, and while at it, has been hosted by the biggest names in television. But Perry's name has traveled far beyond just his industry, with his recognition being noted as highly as in top government offices. Perry didn't get that just by being one of the funniest characters on television. He's also been involved in several philanthropic works over the years, some of which were factors that even led to him establishing his own studio in the the first place. But with all these great things attached to his name, there have also been several scandalous news. Most recently, one of those scandalous news just pushed the producer's name to the center of all trend lists. Even news reports were saying you'd have to have been under the heaviest of rocks to have not heard or read the name Christian Keys in the last week and a half. It, it's in my bone marrow and I'm tired of this person gallivanting around doing these PR stunts. Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Just in case, a quick primer. Keys is an actor, model, and author who wrote the novels that were adapted into the BET Plus show All the Queen's Men, which he also wrote and co-starred. On December 16th, Keys uploaded an hour-plus long video on his experiences in Hollywood to Instagram. In that video, Keyes spoke of being a victim of years of SH at the hands of a very powerful man who had several young black men on his payroll and who offered him a six-figure bribe to keep his mouth closed. He claims to have recorded audio of his harasser on a pen recorder. Whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. His video provoked an initial firestorm of support and immediate speculation it's that crazy. the powerful man in question is Tyler Perry, considering the years-long curiosity about his S and the fact that Tyler Perry Studios produced all the Queen's men. Keyes' claims were met with different reactions with some fans seeing his point of view while considering his past and others flat out telling him to name drop his assaulter. One person wrote, I agree. But by refusing to name the culprit but still revealing clues, it's going to lead people to speculate. If he keeps it doing it, he could open himself up to a defamation claim claims from those being named online. Another person countered saying, Misery loves company and some folks are just plain nosy and messy. Frankly, we don't deserve to know who did it. It's none of our business. We need to support him as a human being, period. Anyway, two days after he blew the internet up with his truth, following people alleging that he was referring to Tyler Perry, the actor revealed that his assaulter's name had actually already been mentioned by the fans. He wrote, Some of these negative and ignorant comments are the exact reason that men, especially black men, don't talk about this kind of stuff. He added that, And y'all have said his name in the comments which is crazy, because that's how many people know what's going on, trying to find the strength to finish this race. While there was no express admission that Perry was responsible for his horrible experiences, there have been a couple of other no-brainer scandals that prove that at the very least, Tyler Perry isn't who he's painted himself to the world as. I'm referring to Brandon J's experience on the producer's set, who was allegedly forced by the billionaire not just to work under borderline insane conditions, but also had his auditioned role, which was straight, switched into a gay one during the set. Jay took to TikTok That's recently crazy. to open up about how filming just one episode of Perry's Meet the Browns turned into the most stressful and hardest experience of his life. According to Jay, a day on Perry's show set is more drastic than the typical one episode shoot. The actor says episodes are usually shot in one week. However, at Tyler Perry Studios, they're shot in one day. In addition to the tight shooting schedule, Jay accuses Perry of making last minute changes to the scripts the actors had to memorize before each shoot. Jay had auditioned for and was playing the role of Jeffrey, a stout high school teenager who was being bullied at school. I take two to three days to learn the entire script, Jay recounts. Then on the day of filming the Alfonso Ribeiro directed episode, Perry walks in and everything changes, Jay claimed. So we literally run the entire episode for him and he hates it, Jay said. Mr. Perry comes in, everything changes. So we literally run the entire episode for him and he hates it. Does that mean I have to learn a whole new script? Yes, that's what it means. The actor realized Perry's Dang. dislike for the original script would result in everyone being forced to learn new lines of the honchos choosing. Mr. Perry on the spot starts rewriting the entire script, Jay claimed while feeding the young actor the lines he had to perfect right there on the spot. Jay claims the director urged him to learn the new impromptu lines or else he would be fired. 
While rising to the occasion to learn the new lines, Jay claims Perry decided that his character would be gay and have a crush on his high school bully. What? The drastic plot change wasn't what Jay had originally auditioned for. I want Jeffrey to be gay and he has a crush on his bully, Jay claims Perry said. In the second installment of the expose, released the next day, Jay adds to the story to reveal his initial response to being told his character would now have to be gay. Jay said he reached out to his agent who told him that he does not have to take the role if he doesn't feel comfortable playing a new role he never signed on for. With my agent, my agent was like, absolutely not. If Brandon doesn't feel comfortable with playing this character, then he can walk from this because you don't have to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. And then they call the casting director. Of course, this expectedly caused a similar uproar to that of Keyes' story on the internet, with people questioning why the producer would do that when he wasn't even supposed to be directing the film. However, if there's one thing the history of scandals involving Tyler Perry have shown, it's that he doesn't even have to be the main character to do someone dirty. As it turns out, Tiffany Haddish is also a victim of Tyler Perry, and you will be shocked yeah. to find out how the Medea creator has been treating Haddish. Following a notice of dismissal filed by the plaintiffs for a lawsuit involving allegations of M against Haddish and Aries Spears a few years back, the comedian painfully revealed how the suit cost her work, and even the people she called family like Tyler Perry turned her back on her. I lost everything. All my gigs gone. Really? Everything gone. But now that they've changed face, you know? I don't you know, like bro. You the Girls Trip star talked to TMZ about the aftermath of her and Spears being accused of having and M two then minor siblings years ago in a lawsuit originally filed in Los Angeles Superior Court. Before this, Haddish had spoken out in response to the child S.A. lawsuit that was filed against her and Spears. I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you, Haddish wrote on Instagram. Unfortunately, because there is an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But clearly, while this sketch was intended to be comedic, it wasn't funny at all and I deeply regret having agreed to act in it. I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about this situation as soon as I can. Amid all this drama, Perry, through his studios, didn't do anything to help Haddish, despite the fact the accusations against her were false. In fact, all she tried doing in the lead up to the case was trying to make the world a better place. Following the very explosive legal dwell based on her reputation, Haddish lost everything, absolutely everything. I don't have no job. It was also at this time that Monique intensified speaking out against Tyler Perry and his studio and how he takes advantage of black actors, Tiffany Haddish included. Oftentimes when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it's it crazy, goes bro. unheard until she dies. Then once she dies. During one of her many interviews, Monique looked directly into the camera and broke down Hollywood's history of targeting black women who aren't afraid to stand up for themselves. Oftentimes, when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard until she dies. Then once she dies, then we go back and say, well, she was right, and let's make a movie about it. While Monique's fight was broader than Tyler Perry, the producer's problematic nature is bigger than just the actors. You've probably heard at one point or the other that the man isn't exactly the easiest person to work with in the industry. Well, according to reports, that's because he allegedly has a history of firing people for the simplest reasons, in this case, because they had their sights on union benefits. After striking it big at the box office, Perry set his sights on television, where he found success with the hit sitcom House of Pain. But just as Perry was preparing to sign a lucrative syndication deal and launch the spin-off Meet the Browns, Deadline dropped the surprising news that he fired four writers after they requested union contracts. The Writers Guild of America stepped in and charged Perry's production company with unfair labor practice and bargaining in bad faith. It was not a good look. I feel like I was slapped in the face like we were used, writer Terry Brown Jackson told Deadline. We were good enough to create over a hundred episodes, but now when it comes to reaping the benefits of the show being syndicated and having other spin-offs from it, he decides to let us go unless we accept a horrible offer. Kelly Griffin, the head writer for House of Pain, said at the time that she wasn't going down without a fight. While I'd like to see something positive come out of this for us, if this fight helps future black writers get what they deserve, that's a good thing. As for Perry learning his lesson, he did make a change to the writer's room for his future shows, by not having one. Perry told ABC News he writes everything himself now. The same payment disparities across several levels of the industry are also why Gabrielle Union even chose to point the spotlight on this topic in the first place. Um, they may not have a lot of liquid income. 
right? And you need, you can't charge your rent. You, you have to pay your rent. Union believes that movie studios underpay black actresses. She's noticed that compared to white actresses and even the male actors in the industry, black actresses often get a smaller paycheck and she's not okay with that. She appears determined to stand up and fight against this unfairness. She shared, as black actresses, there's almost shame involved because we get paid so much less. When those Forbes lists come out about highest paid actors, you're like, oh, I'm a failure. That's what they're making and I'm nowhere close. It's not just her, Tashina Arnold, Chris's mother Rochelle from the hit show Everybody Hates Chris, also took a stand, advocating for better health care, fairer residuals, and equal treatment for black actors in Hollywood. She's speaking out for these important changes in the industry. It's not just one thing, but we want fairness, better health care, better residuals. I literally get one cent residuals. Union believes that movie studios One can cent. get away with paying black actresses less because many movie stars don't talk openly about how much they make. This lack of salary discussion makes it easier for studios to take advantage of black actresses. As reported by E! News Union said, they assume, justifiably, rightly so, that none of us are talking. And that's how they screw each other because somebody will be the carrot person. Sometimes you don't even know you're the carrot person. Of course, the actress never expressly pointed fingers at Perry for being part of the strongholds that have held women back in the industry. But looking at the producer's history with other people who have crossed paths with him either on his own set or other random sets, it's not far-fetched to say that he hasn't exactly been aiding their battle. Some fans have their detective hat on and have already been talking about how this man might be inches from further getting exposed for maybe even much worse stuff. So, are you on the same page or do you have different ideas about this famous and to some infamous producer? Tell us in the Man, Tyler Perry, man. <laughs> bro, you one messed up individual, bro. You one me People like the power and the money go to their head. So, bro, I don't... If it's about the money with Tyler, if it is about the money, you're making enough money, my boy. You try to, you have people work, bust their ass, and Meet the Browns was one of my favorite, one of my top shows. Was one of my top shows. And um, the other Tyler Perry shows, Meet the Browns, House of Pain. The House of Pain, man, those two shows I was a watch faithfully. Now, the cast members say they try to do a spinoff on it to further their careers and you know, make more money. That's why we have jobs, to make more money, whether you're an actor, actress, a waiter, waitress. I don't care if you change. Whatever you do, more, nine times out of ten, we're there to provide for our families, and that's what these actresses are doing, to provide for their families. And for Tyler Perry to hold them back, and make them do excruciating things that's out of this world, maybe. I don't know, but that's weird, bro. That's weird, Tyler. That's fucked up, to be quite honest. That's fucked up. But what you do in the dark, it will come to the light. You cannot do people wrong, man, and expect good behind them. You keep on sowing them bad seeds if you want to, Tyler. Everything you have will be gone, my boy. Trust me. God do not like ugly, bro. God do not like ugly. So, man, comment, like, subscribe, man. This is crazy. This is spicy. That's crazy. Tyler, man, I, I almost stuck my finger up at the camera just now, man. Dang it, about it. But y'all be y'all be blessed, man. I'm out here. I don't feel too good. I got five more videos to drop. You did? Yes, sir.